What is a margin call? Before the very term is explained, let's make some things clear. In traditional trading, you exchange one asset for another. For example, you sell a house to get British pounds in return or buy American dollars for euro in an exchange office. In CFD trading, however, you have to open positions, either long to buy or short to sell. When you open a position, you basically take on an obligation to close it in a while. You close long positions by selling and short positions by buying. Before you close a position, you accumulate unrealized gains and losses. Their amount changes as the asset's price goes up or down. Add unrealized gains and losses to your account balance and you'll get the equity. To trade on margin, you should maintain a certain ratio of equity to the required margin. Required margin is the amount of collateral required to support your resting orders, to keep your positions open. So, when a trader's equity drops below the required margin, he or she receives a margin call. Basically, a margin call is a risk management tool so that you don't incur further losses. At Capital.com, if your equity drops below 125% of the required margin, you'll receive the first message. For now, you can still open new positions and place orders. You receive the second one if your equity continues dropping and goes below 100% of the margin required. You are no longer able to open new positions or place orders. If your equity to margin ratio drops beneath 75%, margin call number three. Same as before, you cannot open new positions or place orders. And finally, mind the equity equal or less than 50%. That's our maintenance threshold. If you reach or go below this, we automatically close all your open positions and cancel your pending orders. Margin calls are must-haves in a broker-investor relationship because of market volatility. When markets move fast, margin requirements serve as a safety mechanism. There are three ways to avoid margin calls. One, fund your account. Two, set a lower leverage for new positions. Three, close some of your positions. Let's take a look at an example. This is Rick. He is a trader. Rick has $3,500 in his account and wants to buy CFDs on XYZ shares with a margin of 1 to 2. One share is trading at $99 slash $100 and Rick wants to go long on 50 CFDs at $100. Ask price. To open a position on $5,000 worth of stock with a 50% margin, Rick puts in $2,500. The rest of the money is provided by his broker. There are $1,000 of intact funds left in his account. So, Rick goes long. Within a course of time, the price of XYZ share goes down to $92, bid price. The total value of his XYZ shares declines to $4,600 and Rick's equity becomes $1,000 plus $2,100 equals $3,100. His current equity to margin ratio is $3,100 over $2,500 times 100% equals 124%. Time for the first margin call. The equity is below 125% of the required margin. However, the value of 50 CFDs continues dropping down to $3,900. Consequently, the equity falls to $1,000 plus $1,400 equals $2,400. This is 96% of the required margin, $2,500. The second margin call. Rick's equity to margin level is now below 100%. The XYZ share price goes down further. Now the value is $3,300 and equity is estimated at $1,000 plus $800 equals $1,800. This makes 72% of the required margin, lower than our third margin call value of 75%. Crossing the 2,750 value for 50 CFDs will mean that the equity drops below 50% of the required margin, below the $1,250 equity level. This will be position closed out here. A margin call is a good safety measure in case the market you're trading in enters high volatility territory. To avoid margin calls and rest assured you won't go belly up, it's better to set stop losses. And keep in mind that sometimes markets move very, very fast.